Just a few moments ago, as we uh, get into the aftermath of the Trump verdict here, we saw Michael Cohen leave his Manhattan apartment. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal is live there now. Naveen, did he have any comment? Yeah, Christine, Michael Cohen had a lot to say in court, but as he left his Upper East Side apartment just around 7 o'clock, that was about 25 minutes ago, he had nothing to say. He walked out, our cameras caught him, out of the front door of his apartment here on Park Avenue. At one point, he looked at our cameras, and then he got into a livery SUV, a black SUV. Now, Cohen it was a key witness, as you all know, in this case, telling the jury that he had intimate knowledge of that hush money payments that were made before the 2016 election. Cohen, uh, known as a self-described fixer before Trump be became president, uh, and during this case, Cohen made it a fierce, was a, became a fierce critic of his now former boss. Now, in the court, you may remember, you know, his his testimony really nailed a lot of this, uh, a lot of this case, where he said back in October 2016, he paid Stormy Daniels $130,000 of his own money, of his pocket money, in exchange for her silence. Now, prosecutors say Cohen received 11 checks from Trump that were falsely classified as legal fees to cover up the deal with Daniels. And Cohen testified that Trump had approved of this plan to reimburse him. Now, it's unclear what Cohen was thinking as he left his apartment. Uh, it's unclear where he was going at this time, but being a lawyer himself and being very close to this case, he might have some sort of an inkling of what the outcome of this trial may have been. Back to you. Dean Dhaliwal, thank you so much. Nothing from Michael Cohen just yet. All right, we will move on here to see some, uh, some of the video as uh, the former president left his apartment there on 56th Street at uh, Fifth Avenue, getting into the back of a vehicle with the escort of the Secret Service. He then uh, went on 56, made a left up Madison, and that's where uh, the chopper then followed him uh, to points unknown at this point. We're not sure if he's going to get to LaGuardia to get out of town. Dan Rice told us that it didn't appear that the chopper, or rather his private plane, is ready for takeoff or ready to leave just yet. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. Absolutely. It is a quick, though, turnaround because we saw him arrive there at his apartment building um, after 6 o'clock tonight and uh, just um, over an hour spending time there to regroup and then off to his next destination. Of course, we'll try to figure out where that is and get that information to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, we're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we will hear from our political and legal analysts about what comes next.